Hi, and welcome back to Product Profile. My name's James, and in this two-part mini-series, we'll be showing you exactly how to use the SonicU sound system software by Dynacord. In today's video, we'll be demonstrating how this powerful software can be used on a large-scale project. Now it's over to Arthur, who'll be guiding you through the process. Right, so we've seen how to set up a quick and easy two-box system solution with SonicQ, but how does SonicQ perform and how intuitive is SonicQ to use on a much larger system? So here in this particular project, we've got four line array hangs. We've got some generic monitors on the stage. We've got four lip fills, and then we've got a selection of subwoofers. Here in the screen, you see my complete speaker layout for the whole system. And underneath, if I just raise the screen up, you see all our electronics that are driving this particular system. If we go to tune and mute, so a quick and easy way to identify where a speaker is actually wired to is by just hovering over a speaker. So in this instance, the bottom left hand corner, the sub. If you look down to the first amp rack, you'll notice that channel B on the bottom amp is highlighted. So you move away from that, move on to it, and it highlights again. So this indicates to me that the bottom amplifier in the first rack is driving this loudspeaker. This is the same for any uh, part of the array. If I just go up to the low frequency section of one of the line arrays, you can see the bottom amp and uh, channel C is driving this particular portion. So whatever you do on the speakers illustrates on the amplifier. So in this instance, we're muting three line array tops by clicking the button and you will instantly see that that channel on the associated amplifier has also registered as mute. So this reaction can go both ways, quite simply. Quite an easy way to fault find and to identify which amplifier is, um, is in question. So, but from a, um, a visual perspective, we like to be able to see our complete system and the, what the amplifiers are doing themselves is portrayed through the actual speaker uh, that's illustrated above. So whether that's a mute to mute a section, just the HF element or the LF element, in this case, it's a bi-amp box, um, or you can highlight your entire system and then that's again will give you the mute for everything that's been highlighted. If you want to leave these mutes, just pick them up, drag them to a suitable place and it will remain there for the duration of, of the use of the software. To clear the mute, just click the X in the top right corner. This same basic principle applies to every part of SonicQ, whether it be level, delay, PQ, polarity, signal generator, etc. So, looking at level, I maybe want to adjust the mains on the left to right, on the left. So, as you can see, I've selected the whole group and this is then adjusting accordingly. You can use the increment arrows to adjust finally or whole digits using the double key. Also, it's possible to hand select the fader and drag it up and down to whichever level is required. Moving on from there is the delay. So delay more often than not your tops will be in front of your subwoofers um, or actually the other way around the subwoofers will be in front of your your mains so one thing you might want to do is you might want to highlight all your subs and add some delay for example furthermore to this you might then want to delay your whole system back to the stage 
So actually what you can do then is you can highlight, hold down control, and then delay relatively to the already existing delay that you put on the subwoofers. So this would be used, for example, if you delayed your subs to your tops, but then you wanted to delay the whole system to, say, the kick drum on the stage. So literally you are time aligning everything back to that one beat that's making the first note on stage. So that's one possibility. Um, PQ, again, you can highlight. Maybe you just want to highlight your mains. So select, press control, select the others, and then it will give you the EQ. One thing to note that's important, if you adjust any EQ, as soon as you adjust anything, you will note that the speakers change color to blue. This is indicating that there is an EQ present. Again, you can change the, the filters that we would like. You have a gain, a frequency response, and a Q, which gives you the tightness of said effect. So here we can see we're out of PQ um, and the, the arrays are still highlighted. Polarity is also available, uh, so you can invert any, any amplifier channel from the speaker themselves. And then also what we do have is we have on IPX and TGX is a built-in signal generator. So here you can see we have... Um, pre-solo, pre-mix, post-solo, post-mix options. And then we have white noise, pink noise, and a sine wave generator. Again, you can adjust the level of that, and then you can turn it on or off, respectively. Then when it comes to metering and monitoring and operating, etc., Obviously, this is where SonicQ really comes into its own um, because it gives you a full overall picture of the whole system and how it's operating. So as you can see here, I'll just zoom in a section. So every speaker has a metering block. So the large meter on the right hand side is showing the actual speaker output, or the amplifier output, uh, the small box on the bottom left hand corner is showing your input signal, the input signal strength, and then the top box is indicating any limiting that is coming into effect due to the speaker processing. We'll stay zoomed in at the minute, um, but actually what this will do, well actually, um, is when you're in load mode, all of these individual speaker channels from the amplifiers will illustrate their impedance and again you can adjust tolerances to flag highlights to you if anything were untoward with the system. That was a quick look at the possibilities and the scale of what SonicQ can actually deliver in a larger concert style system and that just about covers it if you like the video make sure to leave us a comment below and subscribe for more exciting product demos we'll see you in the next one